Hello, I'm back again. And now is uh, the topic na pag-uusapan naman natin ngayon is about um, amino acids. Um, health and fitness naman tayo ngayon, mga brad, mga chong. <coughs> okay, so ano yung pinagkaiba ng amino acid, whey protein, at BCAA? So, at that time, may channel ako na hindi ko naman pinalago yung subscribers na nawala rin tayo ng or ng time that time ng time that time ng oras that time to make videos and edit so i-share ko lang in, uh, in Tagalog kasi that time it was in English so marami nagko-comment that that time is ano nga magpalit daw ako in uh, big magtagalog na lang daw ako okay so ito as requested a long time ago ayan so ang um, Ano pinagkaiba ng amino acid, whey protein at um, BCAA? Yung amino acid, yun yung building blocks ng whey protein or ng protein itself. So, ang example na pwede natin ibigay sa inyo is if gagawa ka ng, if gagawa ka ng bahay. So, yung bahay is let's say it's a brick house. So, all made of bricks yung walls niya, yung foundation. Yung bricks nun, every brick, yung nagsisignif ng amino acid o nag, uh, nagre-represent ng amino acid. Tapos pag nabuo yung buong bahay, yung bahay is yung protein. So yun, amino acid are building blocks of whey protein. So usually, um, if I'm not mistaken, may 14 or 16 types of amino acids. So, every type may ano siya, may uh, benefit iba-ibang benefit sa katawan like let's say um, one of them um, lysine ano no, no, no. leucine leucine yeah. so yung leucine is very effective in building lean uh, building muscle and uh, in, uh, pang recovery red muscle recovery so yun yung amino acid yung protein naman is actually Ang whey protein is actually amino acid. So, pinag- <laughs> so pagka parehas lang sila in a way. Um, pag may makikita kayong, eh dito, ito na, may makikita kang supplement sa, sa store may ma- or online. Amino acid uh, tablets or capsules. Tapos, bakit may amino acid tapos may whey protein na pinagkaiba? Yung whey protein usually is in powder form. Tapos amino acids, pwede natin siyang in powder or tablet or capsule or liquid aminos. Ang pinagkaiba nun now is yung uh, digestion process. So, pag mag-amino acid ka, yung amino acid na supplement, broken down na yung protein, yung bond nila, or yung absorption rate is mas mabilis compared to dun sa mag-detect ka ng whey protein. Na powder, usually. Yun. Ang benefit nun is fast absorption rate. So, you, pwede ka mag-take after exercise. Usually, studies na nagsasabi is take uh, protein supplements after exercise kasi yung katawan natin is parang sponge so after exercise so yung absorption rate ng katawan natin in terms of dun sa protein is napaka taas so garantisadong garantis, <laughs> garantisadong ano siya uh, ma-absorb ng katawan natin fully and diretso siya dun sa for uh, rebuilding muscle tissue for recovery yung purpose niya so yun you know amino, you know whey protein. Yung BCA naman, BCA is actually three amino acids lang yun. So it's leucine, isoleucine, and valine or valine, ang tawag nila. So yun naman is actually responsible. Yung three na yun is important and responsible for giving you energy. The body will use it to be burned as energy, sabi nga nila. And good rin siya into recovery and rebuilding muscle tissue. So, itong trinan to, ito yung more significant amino acid na talagang needed natin kung magbubuhat tayo, mag-exercise tayo. So, yung mga companies, nag-provide din sila ng just 3 B- ng BCA, which is doon mga 3 amino acids lang. So, ayun. Ang recommended naman sa BCA, I would suggest na gamitin nyo lang siya as an add-on or top-up dun sa protein supplements nyo. So, wag nyo siyang, wag kayo magre-rely sa BCA only. Kasi mas maganda nga if yung whole stack 
yung that means yung whole profile ng amino acid yung all 16 or 14 types ng amino acids is matakin nyo. So yun dun sa amino acids naman, balik tayo sa amino acids no. May mga essential amino acid that means na hindi natin makukuha dun sa hindi na po-produce ng katawan natin, hindi kaya. So kailangan natin siyang kunin sa out sa outside source meaning kain ka ng itlog, meat, yan, cheese, whey protein, soy protein, yan, mga greens na may protein, yun. Tapos, yun yung mga essential yung kailangan natin. Non-essential is yung kaya natin i-produce, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Tapos, may conditionally essential amino acid yung pag kailangan natin i- pag magbubuhat tayo or what, yan. So, kailangan natin sila so condition may condition siya kailangan natin ng uh, more amino acids na yun so ayun so um, recap amino acids yun lang yung building blocks ng protein yung protein actually nasa na explain ko ba <laughs> yung protein uh, yun yung buong pag nag take ka ng whey protein kuha mo lahat ng amino acids and I would suggest kung hindi ka naman sensitive sa gatas kung wala kang ano tummy ache or hindi ka nagda-diarrhea or anything pag kumakain ka ng milk milk products, yung dairy products is mag-take ka na lang ng whey protein kasi one scoop usually in the market, one scoop ng whey protein 24 grams that's 24,000 mg of the total amino acids and usually yung mga sikat na brands na whey protein one scoop nun is around 5 grams na ng BCAA din so hindi mo na kailangan mag-top up ng ano, mag-take ka na lang, bilik, mag-invest ka na lang dun sa tub ng whey protein, sa container ng whey protein, doon ka na lang, yun na lang ang kunin mo. Tapos, solve na lahat. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-ami, mag amino ka pa, mag bbca ka pa. So, concentrate ka lang sa whey protein kasi nandun na rin yung lahat. Tapos, ayun. Tapos na ang usapan natin, mga brad. Mga mamat, sir. So, kung may questions kayo, post lang sa comments at uh, sasagutin natin yan. Okay. That's it for now. Bye-bye!